Let's talk about the DevOps Center of Salesforce. So this is the flow of um, DevOps. So you create a work item, you can build it a sandbox and you commit the change. Then you create a review and promote changes to the Git repository, right? Um, so after that, uh, um, it creates a work, uh, when you create a work item, you commit to the Git repository and then you um, create a work item branch. So you develop in IDE and then uh, and then here commit changes, create a pull request, and then merge and deploy. So this is uh, to the production. Right? This is how the flow it, the flow works. So start from the again the work item, then come here the work item branch and then IDE the build in a sandbox is a two way here. So when you commit changes, you can uh, commit a repository and create pull request. Pull request is not, um, is to show request to everybody that you um, created a branch, so everybody could see that what you do there, and then you merge your branch, branch, and you deploy to work. Uh, let's move on. What is DevOps Center? DevOps. Center provides an improved experience around a change and release management and brings DevOps best practices to a development team regardless of where you fall on a low code or pro code continuum. We develop DevOps Center based on feedback from thousands of users, idea exchange who requested an, an improvement to change sets. Who have changed it? Don't worry. They are not going to going away at this time, but you think that after you see DevOps, you will you will be ready to say goodbye to change sets. With DevOps Center, change are track automatically. You no longer need to keep sticking out or spreadsheet that document all your changes. The source control repository is your source of truth for your project. So you always know that everyone is working with the consistent data of metadata. Source control branches are created and managed for you. You use clicks to move changes through the release pipeline. You do your development work inside or outside the DevOps Center using the tool of your choice. So everyone has a visibility into each other's changes regardless of how they are go going, uh, how they are doing their work. Let's uh, talk about uh, how DevOps Center improves change set and release management. DevOps Center uses the power of Salesforce DA modern de developer tools under the hood, including Salesforce project compatibility, Salesforce CLI, C metadata API, and Salesforce self source control. The best of all, you don't need to be familiar with them to use DevOps Center. That means all your team members can work together, deliver value to customers. Um, so Salesforce admin or declarative developer, or programmatic developer or release manager, whoever is working on this can work on uh, this DevOps Center. So, uh, Salesforce admin uh, and declarative developer is currently using changes because changes are not compatible with tools that a programmatic developer team is using. So she is unable to collaborate effectively, and the user experience for change set is less desirable. In addition, she is familiar with the source control system. So that is uh, the examples. Yeah, the programmatic developer on the team is quite happy with some uh, capability that delivered with Salesforce DX tooling. They would like to more visibility to the admin changer because she's using change he doesn't have it. Uh, that's another example. The other one, example is meanwhile, the release manager is responsible for deploying change set for both teammates through the release pipeline. 
with DevOps Center, because of the source control, it is a centralized source of truth. The enhanced use cases are now possible. Directorative developer create a work item and perform her developer work in Salesforce Sandbox. She puts the changes and commits them to the source control repository. Then promote those changes all by using the clicks in DevOps Center. The declarative developer performs the development work, but another team member such as program developer can review her work in the source control system before it gets promoted. The programmatic developer works directly in a work item feature branch using the development tool of his choice. He commits and merges those changes directly into the source control repository and the rest of the team has complete visibility into the changes from within DevOps Center. All team members, including the release manager, can promote changes either from within DevOps Center or using Salesforce CLI. Um, so these are the uh, uh, clicks, things you have to remember. There are a few terminologies. Work item uh, defines the requirement for your chain to be made and tracks the associated metadata source control files through the release lifecycle. Work item increases visibility regarding their changes reside each other pipeline stage. Conflict management identifies work items that have conflict with other items in the pipeline. Provide information to help you, uh, you resolve a conflict. Dev environment synchronization detects when the development environment is out of date, so you can ensure that oh, you are working against the latest source of truth. Tells you what's different and enables them to synchronize it to avoid future conflicts. Activity history provides increased visibility, auditability, and error tracking in both work item and pipeline views. Ability to delete metadata. Removes the component from target stage and leverage a metadata API to destructive changes functionality. Validation rule deployment enables you to run validation rule only development and later time perform the quick deployment. You can uh, do that as well. 